I've asked him not to whistle that annoying tune. I know, I know. I usually drop the long boys. But I gotta do something or else the algorithm gonna do me like Regina King did Buddy in this Christmas. I figure I'll try something a little shorter. Sometimes you just gotta... You, you gotta, gotta switch, switch it up, up on a bitch. bitch. Thank y'all for taking on this ride with me. Yeah. You know what? Here go two more for y'all. Yeah. Theme songs, my nigga. Everybody loves a good theme song. I think my favorite might be One on One. <laughs> Uh, not, not the second one, though. No. Not the remix. Got a lot of favorites. I think they all do a good job telling you the vibe of each show, what type of energy to be on. Ah, oh, cool, new regular show. What the hell was that? Nice, I'm all in. But if I'm being honest, there's one perfect one. Let me be the first to tell you, the Ed at Nettie theme song is genius. <laughs> Today's video is actually brought to you by Keeps. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time that they're 35? Did you know that I am two out of three guys? <laughs> The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something while you still got hair on your head. Keeps is a subscription service that focuses on making it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness online. With Keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information online and recommend the right hair loss treatment plan for you. Then your treatment is shipped directly to your door every three months. You can hit up a message at Keeps Doctor 24-7 with any questions or concerns you may have along the way. And you can track your progress with Keeps Progress Tracking Tool. Nice. Nice. Keeps offers generic versions of the FDA approved medications for hair loss, which makes it more affordable. Keeps treatments typically take between four to six months to start showing results. Yeah, I might want to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you can save. It's less likely that you'll end up looking like Toonrific Tariq. Dude, lead with that next time. Find out why Keeps has more five star reviews than any of its competitors, and why hundreds of thousands of men trust Keeps for their hair loss prevention. I love it. Don't end up like Bart. You're ready to take action and prevent hair loss? Go to keeps.com slash tunerific to reek or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's K E E P S dot com slash tunerific to reek. All right, my bad, let's get to the theme song. Play song. I kind of wrote this video with the understanding that everybody watching it has seen Ed at Nettie before, but I guess if you haven't, uh, <laughs> three kids, all named Ed, dumb smart asshole. Huh. But honestly, to get right to it, you didn't even need me to say that. The Ed and Nettie theme song is the greatest cartoon theme song ever because it tells you every single thing you need to know about the main characters and their relationships to one another. And it does it without a single line of dialogue. Unless you count their names, but I think that's stupid. I think it's a little comparable to another theme song that I love because I fucking love the American Dad theme. <laughs> There's this brilliant shot in the HD opening where Stan goes through every family member and it tells us his relationship with them seamlessly. We know that Haley disagrees with him, but he loves her anyway, which is shown through the hug. We know that Steve looks up and admires him. The little worried look on his face too, it can kind of imply just how complicated their relationship can be. We know that Francine is always watching his back. And uh, I guess they have a fish too, I don't know. Even when Roger pops in and Stan gets rid of him, it lets us know exactly how he feels about Roger. We get how Stan feels about everybody in his house, but, and understandably so, we don't have time to fully understand how each one of these characters feel about each other. How do Haley and Steve feel about each other, or Steve and Francine? And admittedly, I can understand why they felt like they didn't have to do that. The show is called American Dad. It's about Stan and his view on his family. But I think the cool thing about the Edda and Nettie intro is that it pulls that 
that exact Trinity thing off Greg crazy well. Play. It starts with all three of them falling over and making a fool out of themselves. Eddie always has to be the center of attention. So he makes sure that he's the first one that we see. He shows off and tries to act cool for attention. This nigga like licking the floor and shit. Nigga said, hang loose. Double D slowly scoots away, which is on brand because in the show, whenever Eddie gets like this, he don't want nothing to do with it. But he's also nervous and shy. Look at him in the next shot. He's about to have a fucking anxiety attack. Ed notices and follows. Because again, like in the show, he's completely fascinated by everything Double D does. When Eddie notices that nobody's paying him any mind, he freaks out, moving the camera over to show all three of them. He nudges Double D, trying to get him out of his comfort zone. Ed's strong ass, not even knowing his strength, just fucking knocks both of them out of frame. And once he notices, he moves the camera over. But now it's crooked to show how care free he is real imprecise messy eddie chases ed because he made him eat shit ed thinks it's a game eddie's dead ass serious so now we also got their relationship in it too because this is literally how they act in the big picture show double d stands up dust himself off and straightens the camera showing that he's the organized one the one with the ocd everything's got to be clean and tidy but of course Ed and Eddie playing too much is his downfall. Side note, but has anyone noticed that the instrumental practically says Double D when he pops up too? And Double D, who's been anxious throughout the entire intro, finally faints since he was gasping for fucking air this whole time. He faints and after that, after it is way too late, Ed and Eddie finally pay attention to his emotions. Think about how like, in the show, right? These two niggas would cut up and act all kinds of crazy. They would like never chill the fuck out, no matter how much Double D asked. This nigga gotta yell at them to get his point across. Touch you, dare touch me! Shit, was ripping band-aids off and shit. They don't listen or pay attention to him until he does something that they literally can't ignore like passing the fuck out. So, okay, we got messy, strong, carefree, playful. We got precise, anxious, shy, and we got loud, hot-headed, cocky, and secure. What the fuck? This shit is crazy. I still don't know how they did this. How is it that we understand every single character combination in just 30 seconds? Eddie and Ed, Eddie and Double D, Ed and Double D, all of these characters, all of these relationships are explained to us brilliantly with no dialogue or help from the lyrics. It's just the character animation. And much love to the late Paul Boyd for animating it. An amazing character animator who passed away in 2007. You can tell he really had a talent in an for detail. And so Edda and Eddie ran for 130 Wonder episodes for specials in the movie. Movie, And its legacy is forever cemented. There hasn't been a cartoon before or since that is exactly like it. That gives off that same My feeling honor. of being meticulously crafted. And this theme song is just another example of that. It's amazing the type of shit you're able to get off in 30 seconds, bro, I'll tell you. Anyway, that's what this theme song means to me. I'm curious what it means to all of you. Y'all think I'm right or am I just talking a whole load of cap? Let me know. Also, you know what, let me know if like this shorter format works for y'all. If you want to see me try more stuff like this, more Lucy's. Well, I can do them, man, I don't care. Fucking rents, dude. I fucking drowning in student loans and shit. Help me, nigga. Somebody help me. Fuck me. First things first, I pop. Up. Bro, as I wrote this whole thing, I found a comment. The top fucking comment on the upload of the theme song saying exactly what I just did, but way shorter. So why the fuck did I even make this shit? Freaks all the honeys, dummies, playboy bunnies, those wanting money. Those the ones I like, cause they don't get nathan but penetration. Unless it smells like sanitation. Garbage, I turn like doorknobs. Heart throb never. Black and ugly as ever. However, I stay Gucci down to the socks. Rings and watch filled with as I lay down laws like Alan Coppett, stop it. If you think they're gonna make a profit, don't see my ones, don't see my guns, get it? Now tell your friends, Papa, hit it, then split it in two as I flow with the junior mafia. I don't know what the hell's stopping ya. I'm clocking ya, Versace shade watching ya.